What's up? It's Sierra Lafay. Welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a highly requested update on my panathenic acid journey. I haven't made one of those videos in years because my skin had actually got really, really good. And um, recently it went crazy again. So I just started taking it at the start of this year and we'll give you guys a little bit of the things that I've been doing, the things that I've been learning that's been helping my skin to clear back up again. So I did get a recent comment on my video asking about the panathenic acid and my updated skincare routine. So I think I would divide this video into these two topics. And I do wanna be very clear with you guys about what I'm telling you. Please talk to a medical professional before you take anything. This is just something that I have been doing. Since the end of November into December, my skin started breaking out kind of a lot again out of nowhere and i was getting some cystic acne some little acne and then i also started growing excess hair on my face just like on my jawline and it was getting worse and worse so i actually thought that i might have had pcos i went to the doctor got tested they were like you don't have it i thought that maybe i had high testosterone levels all of a sudden they were like no it's actually pretty low so they don't know where this excess hair growth has come from and having to remove it caused a lot of this new breakouts that I was getting. But then I was also starting to get a lot of cystic acne again. It took me until three months, three, four months later to realize acne is caused by what is going on with you internally with your gut. I went to the doctor like towards the end of the year last year or early this year, I don't remember. And I went to a different doctor because my primary one wasn't available. And I was trying to get an allergy test because I'm like, at this point, I was noticing that certain things that I was eating was causing me to break out. So when I went to him, he was just like, there's no correlation. There hasn't been studies that proven that what you eat is a direct reflection of acne. And after he said that, I left out livid because I know that I have allergies to certain foods because I have a history of it and the fact that I was refused an allergy test made me go more full force with learning more about my gut and the correlation between how food directly affects my skin. What I learned is that my skin hates dairy and I was a person that was eating a lot of pizza, it's my favorite food, a lot of ice cream and when I began to take those things out, I started noticing that I wasn't getting a new pimple every day. Because I had like this massive breakout towards the end of November, early December, I also realized it was because it was a holiday season and I was eating a lot of sugary foods. I was eating a lot of cake. We ended up having Alfredo pasta and lasagna for Christmas. So that buildup of all that dairy and sugar is what sparked this massive breakout. And once I finally figured that out, it made me feel so much relief because I thought my skin's constant breaking out, clearing up, breaking out was just happening at random, but it's truly what you put in your body. The doctors are going to try to tell you it is not what you eat because so many of them have told me that and I believed it. So in the beginning of the year, I started eating a lot more cleaner, started eating a lot more whole foods, tried to stay my best with fruits, vegetables, not really getting anything that was processed. I was working out every day, making sure to sweat. And I was also seeing an esthetician twice a month. I would say for the first three months, I was super duper uber slowly seeing my skin change, but not the change that I wanted it to. But now in retrospect and me watching some of my earlier videos, it takes my skin about four months before I really see a drastic change. It has been pretty much four months and a week since I really aggressively started working towards my skin and I had a lot of setbacks in the process. What I learned is that you have to stay disciplined even when you don't see the results that you think you should see in X amount of time. Like it's going to take months of you doing the same thing consistently before you finally see a oh finally I see light at the end of the tunnel. I remember listening to a message by Pastor Michael Todd and I also at the time was reading a book I believe called 10,000 Hours. I have the book down below it was a great read but in the book and in the sermon it talks about kind of the law of consistency and practice like when you are trying to become something or be someone, the amount of hours you put into something, it's not going to feel like you are accomplishing or even close to what you're trying to accomplish. But it'll be like all of a sudden one day you wake up and you'll just see a huge 
change. You are always going to get to a point where there's going to be a reflection of the practices that you put in. So you have a choice to put in the good practices to get to the point that you want to, or you have a choice of doing your same normal bad practices. But I'm just saying that to say there was so many times in this process where I got super discouraged. I felt like I was putting too much money, too much time, energy, and effort in and was not seeing the results that I want, was seeing my skin getting worse. And it wasn't until like all of a sudden one day I woke up and it was just like my skin was so much better and my skin is still healing i still have some hyperpigmentation i still have some little bumps going on but i will say this is probably the best that my skin has been since high school the key is learning what your body internally needs simply learn how to get your gut healthy and keep your gut healthy that being said panathenic acid i first had wanted to just get myself cleansed out and healthy started taking panathenic acid last month so far for about 30 days although my skin was like clearing with the food i was still breaking out around that time of the month and i think i had just remembered that when i used to take panathenic acid during my cycle time i wouldn't break out i'll most likely always take these the week before my cycle for the whole week um but right now i'm actually taking these every single day i'm going to do it for three months straight this stuff has my skin glowing and it's made such a huge beautiful difference in my skin and also with the panathenic acid i have been adding zinc and cod liver oil i have been getting side effects with the panathenic acid with overdosing um i have not experienced hair loss which was something that i was concerned about um there was an episode where i mean i had diarrhea like really bad and I didn't know where that came from. And then when I looked up the symptoms of panathenic acid, I was like, oh, that was probably what was going on. And the biggest thing I've had is weight loss, which is crazy to me because in New York, I have not worked out as aggressively as I was when I was in Chicago. To be honest, I have taken a little bit of a break from my diet with being here because I'm trying to also just enjoy New York. I've slowly introduced a little bit more sugar back into my diet, but I make sure that that's just a once a week type thing. But my diet isn't as top notch strictly fruits and vegetables like it was before yet i've lost five pounds this month and that's simply because it's one of the side effects of panathenic acid and y'all it's it's kind of hard for me to lose weight because i don't really have much anything to lose the overdose and the vitamin b5 they do go after your fat cells to help burn them i believe is what i read so as far as skincare this is going to be super quick i was shaving literally like every day because i was constantly going out being in new york i don't have to go out every single day which is nice so i do let the hair grow out a little bit and i've been trying to focus on shaving my hair once a week when the summer months end i am going to get laser hair removal there is a makeup artist who told me with shaving my face to always use a new razor which is something i didn't know um and she was like if you can't get a new razor clean it with alcohol so I, initially i had got alcohol and i was cleaning off my razors it was not working so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get a whole thing of razors and that actually changed the game for me where i only use the razor once i put olive oil on my face and i first shave in the direction that the hair is growing and then i shave in the opposite way because i want my face to be smooth and then i also exfoliate my face before i shave and then i exfoliate my face after i shave and i only do this once a week and that has helped tremendously with not causing as much breakout as i was getting before so the razors that i use is the simply venus Gillette. I was using different razors before. Y'all, this is the best razors that I have used for my face. These are a double blade. I got 36 of them for like 11 bucks, which is actually a steal. As far as my exfoliator, I use the Clinique scrub for men. My mom has been using this for years and that's why I got it. And my mom's skin is absolutely beautiful. I've used the Clinique scrub for women. It's weak. I don't feel any type of exfoliation happening at all. This one gets really aggressive and helps to really get that dead layer of skin off your face. I do use tretinoin cream on my face at night, which is also an exfoliator. After I shave, tinned skin is a game changer. It immensely calms down razor bumps. And it was like within two weeks, I saw my hyperpigmentation just lighten up so much. As far as my facial cleanser, I had initially got the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser it's okay it's nice to just have a cleanser that is super gentle to the skin i just started recently using the panoxyl acne creamy wash the four percent benzoyl peroxide i used to use the ten percent but the four percent for me is fine right now for my moisturizer i actually hate this this is just the equate moisturizing lotion from walmart it's an equivalent to like the cerave cetaphil during the winter time i was using the skin fix skin barrier moisturizer i loved it 
but I don't want to keep paying $50 every time I need to refill on the lotion. For my sunblock, this is something that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I also feel like it's just a little too oily for my skin, although I am here for a black girl sunscreen. Um, and this is the matte version in 45. The sunlight, that has actually been a huge factor in helping to heal my skin as well. I had noticed when I was in South Africa for a bit that it was also probably the time that my skin had looked the best it did in a while. And I remember that I was in the sun constantly. And the sun in South Africa hits way different than the sun in the States. Now usually the summertime makes me break out quite a bit, but what I was doing differently in South Africa that I wasn't doing in the States during the summer is I was washing my face like three times a day because I was taking a shower that often because I was sweating so much. But making sure that I'm exposing myself to that vitamin D at least 30 minutes a day. I've been doing that so far daily just by taking walks. Um, and I found that it's helped my skin tremendously. Hopefully this wasn't too much of an overload of information. Again, if you have any particular questions or anything you want me to touch on in regards to my panathenic acid or my skincare routine, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one.